Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be creating a stopwatch with lapping functionality using vanilla JavaScript. So here, when I press the start button, this stopwatch starts working, and we get these two new buttons for lapping and for stop. And when I press this button, the time gets lapped, and you can do it as many times as you want. So and when I click on this stop button, the stopwatch stops, and the laps are removed. We can do this as many times as you want. So this is what we'll be creating in today's video. So let's get straight into it. So as usual, I've got this basic layout ready. I've linked an external CSS file in which we'll be doing all the styling part. And now let's get started with our HTML part. So at first, I'll have a div with a class of container. This will wrap all our things with the class of heading just a brief description of what we'll be creating in today's video so stopwatch using vanilla javascript this is the heading and then we'll have our stopwatch that is the timer so inside here first we'll have our span with the class of hours this will display the hours by default zero zero then a colon and then we'll have we'll have our span with a class of minutes this will be 0, 0 as well, colon, and then at last span with a class of seconds, and this will just be 0, 0. We don't need the colon for this one. So we have got our timer and the heading. Now we'll have our buttons inside the div with the class of buttons. So button with the type of button, and we'll give it a class of start button because this will be the button uh, with the text of start so yeah this is our start button over here now we'll just copy paste these two times this will be our lap button and it has a stop button the class will be lap button and stop button yeah then we'll have our uh, div which will show all the recorded laps so div with a class of laps uh, paragraph laps and a hyphen so this is it for the HTML part now let's get into the CSS so let's begin our styling by nullifying the browser's default settings margin 0 padding 0 uh, box sizing of border box and at last a uh, font family of pop-ins so if you want to use this same font for your web pages then I'll give a link in the description from where you can download this font and install it in your systems now let's design our body tag we'll change its background color to teal yeah then the color of white then to horizontally align it we'll give it a display of flex and a justify content of center so this will horizontally align it and also a text align of center so this is it for the body tag now let's design our heading increase its font to something like 2m and a margin top and bottom of 2m so we have got our heading ready as well now we'll design our stopwatch let's change its background color to hash 091921 this is a very very dark shade of blue it might look like black but it is a very dark shade of blue then do it a border radius of 10 pixels and top and bottom padding of 20 pixels so this is for our timer now we'll design our spans which hold our hours minutes and seconds so increase their font size to 2.5 m yeah so this is it uh, for the span tags now we'll design our buttons so this is the div which holds the button first let's give it a margin top of 2m yeah and now we'll design our buttons so buttons we'll select all the three buttons give them a background color of inherit that means they will inherit the background color of the body a color of white and then a border of two pixels solid white uh, then we'll increase their font size 
actually the font size is good no let's not increase that just provide it with some padding of 10 pixels 45 pixels yeah now by default uh, the start button will only be displayed and the lap and the stop button won't be displayed so we'll select our lap button and the stop button and give them a display of none and to the start button we'll give it a width of 400 pixels yeah this is good and to the lap button and the stop button they should be half the size of the start button so to them a width of 200 pixels and now when i click on this button we get this black outline so to remove that outline we'll give it an outline of none and a cursor of pointer so that it all looks clickable yeah now we'll design our recorded laps so to this a text a line of left and a margin top of 2 yeah. then we'll select our paragraph which is this text laps we'll select it and increase its font size to something like 1.3 m and then give it a margin bottom of 0.7 m we are giving it a margin bottom so that when the recorded laps are displayed they have some gap between this heading so this is it for the CSS part. Now let's get into JavaScript. So we'll start our JavaScript part at the end of the body tag. First, we'll select everything uh, starting from the hours span, minutes span, seconds span, then all the three buttons and then this lapse div. So const first of all hours span by document dot query selector dot hours span dot hours. Yeah and copy paste this and replace it with minutes span and this one will be seconds span and we also need to change the class minutes and seconds so we have selected all the three timers and then we'll select all the three buttons so start button the class of start button let's copy paste this now and now change it to stop the last one will be stop and then this one will be lap button yeah now let's select this div which holds our all the recorded laps so const laps is equal to document dot query selector yeah so we have all selected all the necessary things now we will define some variables so let hours is equal to zero this will hold the number of hours for which the stopwatch has been played for then minutes this will also be zero initially and seconds this will also be zero and then we'll define a function where stopwatch yeah now when we click on the start button the stopwatch should start so start button dot add event listener click so whenever this uh, button is clicked on the function which we write over here will start working so the first thing which we want to do is, is hide the start button and display the lap and the stop buttons so, so start button dot style dot display is equal to none so this should be a full stop and then we will display our lap button and the stop button so lab button dot style dot display is equal to inline block and same will be for the stop button now let's see whether it's working or not when i click on the start button the lap and the stop buttons are displayed so this is working just fine now we need to create a function uh, to run this stopwatch so we have already created a variable with the name of stopwatch we will be storing the function inside that variable only so stopwatch now the function which we will be using is set interval function so this function what it is used for i will tell you in a second so now what this actually does is uh, this function we don't need to call it manually it will automatically call itself again and again after every one second 
the time which i have specified here is 1000 milliseconds that me that is equal to one second if i increase it to 2000 milliseconds then it will call itself again and again after two seconds so this will run uh, for infinite number of times until and unless we stop this set interval function and to stop it what we have is known as the clear interval function and we just need to pass the name of the function over here which is stopwatch and as soon as i write this line of code then this set interval function will stop so let's start uh, writing our code inside it first after every second we need to increment the seconds variable so we will simply increment it by this and now as soon as the seconds become equal to 60 then what we will do is we will simply in reinitialize it to 0 because it can't be anything equal to 60 or greater than 60 and we will simply increment the minutes same we will do with minutes as soon as minutes become equal to 60 we will reinitialize it to 0 and we will just increment the hours and now what we will do is we will change the inner text of these span tags based on the values of the variables so hours span dot inner text this will become hours plus colon we can't forget the colon same with the minutes span so minutes span dot inner text is equal to minutes plus colon and then uh, we'll have our seconds span dot inner text uh, this will be equal to seconds we don't need the colon for the seconds let's hit save and now when i click on the start our stopwatch starts working but you see what the defect over here is that uh, whenever there is a single digit number we won't uh, see the extra zero so for that we need to create a series of if else like if ours is less than equal to nine that means if it is a single digit number then let's just copy it and paste it over here then we will add an extra zero uh, extra zero over here by like this so this is for when the hours is a single digit number else we will have this one only like if it isn't a single digit number then we will simply write the r span dot inner text is equal to the hours variable plus colon we will do the same things with the minutes and the seconds so in here this will become minutes same with this one minutes span this will also become minutes span and this will become minutes now for the last one this will be seconds seconds and the second span so now let's click on start so we get this extra colon why is that now uh, we need to change this to seconds and remove this colon from here let's start so you see this is working exactly how we want it to work now let's decrease this time so that we can see uh, it in a faster way so you see after every 60 seconds uh, the minutes are incremented let's decrease it to one so that we can see how the hours is working if it is working or not now you see this minutes isn't working we don't get the extra zero uh, that is because this part should be minutes there was an error from my side now you see as soon as it becomes 60 seconds uh, 60 minutes and r is also incremented so our stopwatch is working absolutely fine now what we need to do is we need to create a function for this lapping and stop so for stop as i told you it is a very easy one we just need to have a clear interval function so let's first create that one and that will be outside this click uh, the start button dot click we don't want this to be inside it so we will move outside this function and now stop button dot add event listener click so as soon as it is clicked on the first thing which we want is we need to 
clear interval the stopwatch so that it will stop the stopwatch from working let's see whether it's working or not yeah it is working fine but the seconds and the complete time should reinitialize to zero so for that uh, what we need to do is rs span dot inner text is equal to zero zero plus oh not the plus a colon so we need to uh, reinitialize the hours span and same with the minutes span and the seconds span but for the second span we don't need this colon and what we also need to do is as soon as we click on this stop button the stop and the lap button should hide and the start button should be visible again so lap button dot style dot display is equal to none same will be with the stop button and for the start button we will change its uh, display to inline block now this is not it uh, there is still one last thing left what we need to do is we need to reinitialize the variables as well that's because when I click on start and when I click on stop again you see uh, we don't get uh, the stop button is not hidden oh, this should be stop button now what am I trying to say is that when we click on the stop button the uh, the timer is reinitialized the start button is visible this is working fine but now when i click on start again it starts from three seconds and that is because the variables are stored as it is so we need to uh, reinitialize the variables as well that means we need to give hours zero minutes zero and seconds zero as well oh. Oh, this should be semicolon not a comma yeah now when I click on start and stop it and when I click on start again it starts from one second so the stop button is working fine now we need to create a lab button so lab button dot add event listener click now whenever this lab button is clicked on what we will do is we will simply create an element and insert it inside this labs div we will create something like a uh, div 0000000 zero, 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 zero. so this will look uh, any lab will look like this so whenever the lab button is clicked on we will keep inserting uh, these kind of divs so in here we will create an element uh, let's call that element lab uh, doc by document dot create element uh, the element which we need to create is div and uh, div dot uh, not not div dot uh, this should be semicolon so lap dot inner text is equal to hours plus a colon then plus minutes plus a colon plus seconds so whatever time is when the button is clicked on it will uh, store that it will actually store this uh, the exact uh, time which when the lab button is clicked on and it will change the inner text of this created element to that and now we will insert this element inside the labs div by lab labs dot append child lab now you see when i click on start and now click on lab the exact time is recorded and when i click on lab again this is stored again lab 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 and now when i click on stop we need this uh, all of is working fine but we need all this to go back to normal so in here labs dot inner html we need to create it back to the paragraph which we had which said labs so now when i click on start record some times and click on stop uh, this isn't working why so oh this should be labs not lap I click on stop and everything goes back to normal so this is how you can create a stopwatch using vanilla javascript it is a very easy thing to do uh, it is a lengthy program but it is very easy to understand and now if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript you can also go watch some of the games which i have created using vanilla javascript and thank you for watching